Welcome to our spring 2023 choral concert. This features concert choir, chamber singers, and choral ensemble. Students have spent this semester diving deep into the meaning and purpose behind each of their songs and how they work together to paint a larger picture of our theme. The theme, now and not yet, has opened up extraordinarily rich conversation about our calling to live, work, cultivate, and enjoy things while on earth, knowing that we're not a finished product. And there will be moments where God is stretching us and growing us until we are finally restored. I want to call attention to your program now and that has the songs and the composers in it. But what I would like for you to do, if you can, maybe not in this lighting, but at some point, you can, uh, you can um, use that QR code and open up program notes. Um, that is it's a culmination of all of their writing and all of the writing of chamber singers and concert choir. And they're doing things like explaining the theme, explaining some of their music. And there's even some original poetry in there by one of our upperclassmen. So I think that would be really good for you to read. And if you don't want to read it now, that's fine. You can just sit back and enjoy the music. And then you can find out what it's about later. That's not a big deal. We just want you to enjoy tonight. And I want you to know how hard these students have worked, not only on their music, but on their understanding and their communication. Concert Choir will begin tonight's program. Just a few recognitions before we get started. Kate Devonport will be featured as a soloist on the song Poor Wayfaring Stranger. Reagan England and Matthew Royal, Roy will present writings about the theme. And lastly, Give Us Hope will feature Brianna Doyley as soloist and Christopher Tilgis on the loop sequencer. I'll be back just before that last song to talk to you a little bit about the sequencer. At this time, please silence all of your devices that make noises and sit back and enjoy the work of Concert Choir. Do it. 
Oh, Elijah, pray 
This is my favorite thing. Just a brief moment for me to talk about a project that I'm so excited about. Early in the semester, I sat down with Christopher Tilgis and the Learning Center team to dream up ways that we could help him to participate fully in choir. I had the idea of a loop sequencer, and that's all I had. I am a choir director. I have no idea how to build loop sequencers. I don't know how to program them. I don't know what the drum sounds are called. I couldn't tell you the difference between a hi-hat and a bass drum, and that's embarrassing because I'm a band kid before I'm a choir kid. But that was where my dream was, was just a dream. And Stephanie Mizutani, um, who was in the Learning Center, put together a quick proposal, and I'm talking like 25 minute proposal, to the engineering department at U UTC for their freshman engineering project team, and they jumped on it. So a couple of months later, Christopher has a loop sequencer that's programmed with different sounds that he can control with buttons and head switches. The kids and I have had so much fun with this. He has a Kanye clap in his right head so he can go, <laughs> it's really fun. Um, so we're, we're having a great time and the song that we picked to go with this that's gonna feature Christopher on the loop sequen sequencer is called Give Us Hope. 
And every single piece of music from Give Us Hope is um, the, the funds that are raised through that go to benefit the, the Foundation for Small Voices, I think it, it is called. And it's just a, um, a foundation that helps to put music in underserved areas. So I love that the song and the money from the song and our project have all gone to put music in the hands of everybody because that's where it should be. This is Give Us Hope featuring Brianna Doily as our soloist and Christopher Tilgis on loop sequencer. give them a chance to get off the stage, which takes a little bit of time when there's 56 of them. So I'm going to get them started, and then I'll come back and have a chat.
actually going to be reading an excerpt from one of the other choir members who pre preferred to pass the baton of public speaking to someone else. So Tilly picked up the baton for her. Um, she didn't even want me to say her name out loud, but her writing is so pretty. So I don't know, maybe you'll pick out which one it is. Um, Jade Otterman and Zach DeVoe will be our soloist in Set Down Servant. And then Ella Green, who's not in this choir, but she'll join us on stage, is gonna present one of her original poems. I love Ella's poetry. So when we created the theme of Now and Not Yet, I said, do you have maybe a poem in your little collection? All of these things that I laugh at now. A poem in your little collection that might fit the theme. She sent me six that were exactly the theme and was like, let me know if you want some more. So <laughs> Ella's poetry, just, absolutely stunning and I've included a link to all of her stuff in the choral ensemble tab of your website that you can access so if you want to read a few more poems by Ella they will they will bedazzle your mind it's so wonderful she has one about cherry blossoms and it's my favorite 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 poem so um yeah I couldn't decide between all of them all of her poems are in there this is chamber singers and uh, you'll hear from Tilly in a moment, Jade and Zach a little later. songs highlight what the afterlife will look like with peace, beauty, and perfectness. They also bring light to how to find joy in the physical world. Living in this world, one will experience suffering and happiness. Though happiness seems most desired, both are necessary and important to value. God created the world to be perfect, which would look like happiness everywhere and all the time. However, we are human and sin is a reality. Therefore, we are always sh falling short of his glory and we will also endure suffering and pain in the light of this. 
This time of tribulation will not be everlasting. Trusting in him in both good and bad times is cru crucial. Both experiences are special, but the best part is life after pain and joy when we will enter his eternal kingdom with nothing but sunshine and rainbows.
can't sit down, sit down, servant. I can't sit down, sit down, servant. I can't sit down. I'm so, so happy that I can't sit down. Sit down, servant. I can't sit down, sit down, servant. I can't sit down, sit down, servant. I can't sit down. I'm so, so happy that I can't sit down. I'm so, so happy that I can't sit down. There she is. <laughs> I knew she wouldn't miss. It's her poem. Daily Beauty. O oh world, beautiful world, you have already overflowed my heart with your beauty on this mild, misty morning. I step out into the moist morning air and breathe in its lovely, fresh fragrance, marveling at her mystical majesty. The trees wear silk scarves of foggy mystery, and the world is slowly awakening, quietly awakening. The sun emerges from his cloudy bed and lifts his round orange head to face the earth and rests, perching on the white branches of thin stretched cloud, and he warmly smiles and laughs as he shines his light on another day, a new day of life. Birds murmurate overhead, frantically flapping their wings and flying in fascinating patterns, like a swarm of buzzing bees. The fabulous feathered creatures are waltzing on the clouds, dancing and moving this way and that on the floor of the sky. O oh world, you fill my heart with joy, with all the beauty that you daily pour out, heavenly waters of light and life that trickles all the way down to the earth's core.
Okay, as choral ensemble joins us, I want to take a brief moment and acknowledge our seniors this year. This group has been so particularly special to me. They have a great sense of care for each other, both choir members and their larger community, but also they have some of the most delightful senses of humor of any students I've ever worked with, ever. I enjoyed my trip to Seattle more than any student trip I've ever enjoyed, ever, and they are just wonderful to be around. I can't tell you how much I'm gonna miss them. So I'm gonna call them up and I'm gonna tell you their names and their plans for next year and I'm not gonna say another word because I'm not crying tonight, period. So you're, I won't tell you how much they mean to me individually because they all know and you know, but these seniors are special and I know they're gonna do really, really wonderful things. So the first person, and I'll, I'll tell you their name and what they're gonna do and then feel free to clap wildly for them because they more than deserve it. First senior is Emma Veal. She's going to UTK for nursing. <laughs> the second is Macy Berry. She's going to Eastman School of Music, one of the best schools of music in the entire nation, for classical vocal performance. Yeah, Madeline Bory is going to chat state to study French. <laughs> Emma Miller is going to Bryan College to study education. <laughs> this one's a mouthful. Elliot Walker is going to UTK, wait, 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 to study journalism and electronic media, minoring in theater. Go. <laughs> coolest kid I've ever met in my life. <laughs> He's still considering all of his many options and I'm not allowed to say any of them out loud because I'm not allowed to jinx anything. He's talented, he's smart, he's nice, and wherever he ends up, it's gonna be great. Okay, Aubrey Holloway was in the other choir so I'm gonna pull her back on. She is going to be majoring in cosmetology, so get her number now, because you're going to want it later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then um, two people were not able to be on stage with us today. Wait. No, Lily. Okay, first of all, Lily is actually going to be going to... Um, UTC to major in psychology, and Lily's one of those people that just joined choir in her senior year, and I'm so sad that she didn't join when she was in the sixth grade, because she's amazing. <laughs> the two people that couldn't be on stage with us tonight, scheduling, they're just in everything. Um, Lane and AJ, great seniors. Again, these guys that come into choir, their last semester and just try choir and they end up bringing so much life and joy to it. So I was really happy to have both of them in choir this year. They're somewhere in the audience cheering us on as athletes do. So um, I'll give them theirs later, but big thanks to the seniors, big love, big happy, big sad. will be presenting music we also performed on our recent tour to Seattle and if you love them tonight and you just want some more choral ensemble this weekend they'll be performing at North Shore Fellowship all three Sunday services on Sunday morning this Sunday we would love to have you there our reader from choral ensemble is Amelia Barr Macy Berry will be our soloist in the song more than enough and then we were going we're going to hear from Ella Green on another original poem and finally, our last soloist will be Ella Green and Jack DeRoy on Hark I Hear the Harps Eternal. The last two pieces in your program will be performed together um, without stopping, so there won't be an opportunity for you to applaud, but um, you'll want to at the end, I promise. This is Choral Ensemble, and um, their first piece, well, I won't spoil it. John. 
John saw the number. John saw the number. John saw the number. The number. The number. The number. Coming up. Coming up on high. John saw, John, John saw, he saw the holy number. John, John, saw, John, John saw, John saw, he saw the number. John saw the number that no man could number. Hallelujah. Coming up on high. Hallelujah. John, John saw, John, John saw, he saw the holy number. John, John, John saw, John, John saw, he saw the number. John saw the Hundred and forty-four thousand Hallelujah. coming up on high. Hallelujah. John saw the number that no man could number. Yes, John saw the number that holy number. John saw the number that no man could number. Yes, John saw the number. John saw the number that no man could number. Coming up on high. Just tell, tell, tell John. Don't call the cold. cold till I get. representation of where many start in their appreciation of the physical world. Oftentimes, when we are alone in nature, we find ourselves overwhelmed by the expansive nature of the world. It can strike a sense of wonder within us, and that sense of wonder has the ability to extend past fascination with the grand into appreciation for the small. More than enough encapsulates the beauty and contentment that arises from examining the small beauties of life, like white lilies blooming and branches blown down in the fall we begin to realize that it is indeed more than enough and that the vastness of the world, though overwhelming, is what we need and more as well. As we grow in our appreciation for the world around us, the connection to God and his promises can grow, for God created all of the world in its everlasting beauty that we see now. We see how beautiful the world is now, and the mere thought of God's promise that something even better is awaiting us fills us with an incredible sense of anticipation and joy. John saw the number emphasizes the raw excitement that arises from God's promises, with verses like, don't call the roll till I get there, showing how heaven is a place where we cannot wait to arrive at. Park I Hear the Harps Eternal ends this beautiful journey through appreciation of the world and excitement of what is to come. The swinging and joyous tone of the song with loudly declared hallelujahs brings forth the anticipation of hearing heaven as it gets nearer and nearer. We cry hallelujah and hark as we hear those harps eternal the symbol that God is indeed coming and that this beautiful world and all creation shall be made full so very soon.
Marvelous mystery of heaven. Have you ever thought of the sky as the ocean flipped upside down? I stare into the watery sky and desire to plunge into the wide open blue. Why wrestle with the question, where is heaven? It could be the most beautiful place in the clouds, or it could be far beyond the atmosphere we breathe. I have no idea whatsoever, but I am okay with that. I am content and amazed by the marvelous mystery of heaven. I know one day, one day I will plunge deep into the blue, not coming back, coursing and rushing towards life anew. I will know, I will experience heaven when my eyes close in death and my spirit ascends to its forever home with Jesus.
Hark, I hear the harp's eternal ringing on the farther shore. As I near those swollen waters with their deep and solemn roar, Alleluia, 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 praise the Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia, O return, Alleluia. And my soul, my soul, sin, sorrow, fading as the light of day, passes swiftly on its waters. City far away. Hallelujah, 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 I am. Souls have crossed before me safely to that land of perfect rest, and I hear that. to show my oopsie daisy card and we were on a tour in Seattle a whale watching tour be jealous um, don't be it was very cold um, we were there and they said you know one of the composers of your songs lives right over there and these are the waters that those songs were based on and I had no idea so I was like yeah <laughs> yeah so uh, we got to see the waters that he's talking about in these beautiful songs and these songs sound like water they sound like beauty, they sound like ripples, they sound, it's just so beautiful. This whole song that we're about to sing is a French piece about a rose. It talks about every single aspect of the rose, and it's just so stunning. I really hope that you enjoyed Dire Chant and Sure on the Shining Night by Mor Morton Moritzen. Yes, 
big round of applause for the singers in the back, concert choir and chamber singers. Thank you all very much for coming. I hope you have a truly wonderful weekend. can keep it alive. <laughs> Have a good night, you guys. Thank you. Who's going to take care of this? <laughs> 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 you put it. She's got it. Is it fake? No, it's real. <laughs> <laughs>